Have you ever wondered how much your mental health impacts your daily life? It's like an invisible puppeteer, subtly guiding our actions, decisions and overall well-being. Just as we take care of our physical health by eating well and exercising, our mental health requires attention and care to ensure we are functioning at our best. Imagine your mind as a garden. Like any garden, it needs regular attention and care to flourish. Neglect it, and weeds start to grow, overshadowing the beautiful flowers and plants. Mental health is similar. When we neglect our mental health, negative thoughts and feelings can overshadow our happiness, productivity and relationships. Mental health is not just about the absence of mental disorders or disabilities, it's about having a sense of purpose, strong relationships, feeling connected to others and the community, having the ability to cope with life's ups and downs, and bouncing back from personal challenges and changes. Our mental health influences how we think, feel and behave. It affects how we handle stress, relate to others, and make decisions. Good mental health isn't about feeling happy and confident 100% of the time and ignoring any problems. It's about living and coping well, despite problems. Just like physical health, mental health is important at every stage of life, from childhood and adolescence through adulthood. It's a vital aspect of our lives that impacts our thoughts, behaviors, and emotions. Being mentally healthy doesn't just mean that you don't have a mental health problem, it's much more than that. It's the ability to enjoy life, bounce back after difficult experiences, achieve balance, adapt to adversity, feel safe and secure, and achieve your potential. Recognizing the significance of mental health is the first step towards a healthier and happier life. There are numerous misconceptions about mental health, shall we debunk some of them? One widespread misunderstanding is that mental health issues only affect certain groups of people. This couldn't be further from the truth. Mental health problems can affect anyone, regardless of their age, race, gender, or socioeconomic status. They do not discriminate. From the bustling city dweller to the quiet country resident, anyone can experience mental health issues. Another common myth is that mental health issues are a sign of weakness, a misconception that can discourage people from seeking help. The reality is, mental health conditions are not a character flaw or a sign of weakness. They are medical conditions, just like heart disease or diabetes. They can affect anyone and are not a result of personal failings or lack of willpower. Some people believe that you can simply snap out of it, as if mental health problems are a choice. This is a harmful myth that can prevent people from seeking the help they need. Mental health conditions are not a choice, and they are not something that you can just get over. They require understanding, compassion, and often professional help. Lastly, there's a misconception that people with mental health problems are dangerous or unpredictable. The truth is, the vast majority of people with mental health problems are no more likely to be violent than anyone else. Most people with mental illness are not violent and only 3-5% of violent acts can be attributed to individuals living with a serious mental illness. Understanding mental health goes beyond the misconceptions. It's about acknowledging the reality of these conditions. Mental health disorders often go unnoticed, but why is that? The world of mental health disorders is vast, with each condition presenting its own unique set of symptoms. From anxiety to depression, bipolar disorder to post-traumatic stress disorder, the range is as diverse as the individuals it affects. Yet, despite the prevalence of these conditions, they often go unnoticed or are misunderstood. Imagine a silent battle, one that is not fought with weapons or on a battlefield, but within the confines of one's mind. This is the reality for many individuals with mental health disorders. Their struggles are not always visible, their wounds not physically apparent. The symptoms can be subtle, easily mistaken for common stress or dismissed as a bad day. But these silent battles are far from insignificant. They can impact every aspect of a person's life, from their relationships to their job performance and even their physical health. This is why early detection and treatment are so crucial. Understanding the symptoms is the first step. For example, someone with depression might experience persistent feelings of sadness, a loss of interest in activities they once enjoyed, or difficulties with sleep. A person with anxiety, on the other hand, might have excessive worries, restlessness, or difficulties concentrating. However, acknowledging these symptoms is equally important. Too often, individuals dismiss their feelings, attributing them to stress or the hustle and bustle of everyday life. Recognizing these signs for what they are, 
potential indicators of a mental health disorder, is essential for seeking help and starting the journey towards recovery. Furthermore, it's important to remember that mental health disorders are not a sign of weakness or a personal failing. They are medical conditions, just like diabetes or heart disease, and they deserve the same level of care and consideration. The silent battles of mental health disorders are more common than we think. Awareness and understanding are key. Stigma is a major hurdle in addressing mental health issues. How can we overcome this? Stigma, it's a six-letter word that carries so much weight. It builds walls and silences voices, creating an environment that's less than conducive to healing and understanding. In the sphere of mental health, stigma often takes the shape of negative and harmful stereotypes. It's the whisper in the back of the room, the sideways glance, the unspoken judgment that can make those struggling feel isolated and misunderstood. This stigma, this social and cultural stereotype can have detrimental effects. It can prevent individuals from seeking help, fearing judgment or discrimination. It can hinder open discussions about mental health, perpetuating myths and misconceptions. It can even lead to self-stigma, where individuals internalize these negative beliefs, further exacerbating their struggle. But despite the daunting presence of stigma, it's not an insurmountable obstacle. So how do we combat this? The first step is awareness. Understanding that mental health issues are not a sign of weakness, but a part of the human experience. They are as real as any physical ailment and deserve the same level of care and understanding. The second step is open conversation. By talking about mental health, we can normalize these discussions, making them a part of our everyday interactions. These conversations can help to break down the stereotypes and myths, replacing them with understanding and empathy. Lastly, we need to show compassion and support. Let's replace judgment with acceptance and fear with understanding. Let's be there for each other, not just in times of crisis, but in everyday moments. Let's remind each other that it's okay to not be okay and that seeking help is not a sign of weakness, but a strength. Breaking the stigma surrounding mental health starts with each one of us. Together, we can create a world where mental health is discussed openly, where help is sought without fear, and where understanding replaces judgment. Let's break the stigma, one conversation at a time. Mental health advocacy plays a crucial role in bringing about change. How does it do that? Let's delve into it. Advocacy in mental health is akin to a beacon of light that guides society's perspective, helping to shed light on the often misunderstood and stigmatized topic of mental health. One of the primary roles of mental health advocacy is raising awareness. Advocates tirelessly work to bring mental health issues to the forefront of public consciousness. They strive to educate people about the reality of mental illnesses, breaking down harmful stereotypes and misconceptions. This is a vital step in fostering an environment where mental health is understood, accepted, and supported. Advocates also play a key role in promoting mental health education. They develop resources, conduct workshops, and organize events to educate individuals, communities, and organizations about mental health. This education is not just about understanding the different types of mental illnesses, but also about learning how to support those who are struggling. But advocacy doesn't stop at awareness and education. Advocates push for policy changes at all levels of government. They lobby for laws and regulations that protect the rights of people with mental illnesses and ensure they have access to the care they need. The impact of these changes can be profound, leading to improvements in mental health care systems and better support for individuals living with mental health issues. There have been numerous successful advocacy campaigns over the years. From movements that have pushed for insurance companies to cover mental health care to campaigns that have fought for mental health to be included in school curriculums, these successes underline the power and importance of advocacy. Through advocacy, we can bring about tangible changes in mental health care. Advocacy is not just about speaking up, but about sparking change and making a difference. It's about making sure that mental health is no longer a topic shrouded in stigma, but one that is openly discussed, understood and supported. With continued advocacy, we can build a world where everyone has access to the mental health support they need. Taking care of your mental health is vital, but how can you do it effectively? A question that echoes in many minds, yet the answer is more straightforward than you might think. First off, maintaining a healthy lifestyle is a great starting point. Eating a balanced diet, getting regular exercise, and ensuring a good night's sleep are all fundamental to our mental well-being. These are not just good for our physical health, 
but also for our mind, as they help reduce anxiety and improve mood. Next, don't underestimate the power of self-care. It's not just about pampering yourself, but about taking the time to do things that make you happy and relaxed. This could be reading a book, going for a walk, or even just sitting quietly with a cup of tea. Remember, it's not selfish to put your needs first. It's necessary for your mental health. But what if these steps aren't enough? What if despite your best efforts you still find yourself struggling? It's important to know that it's okay to ask for help. Seeking professional help when you need it is not a sign of weakness, but of strength. It shows that you value yourself enough to take your mental health seriously. Whether it's a counselor, a psychologist or a psychiatrist, these professionals are there to help you navigate your mental health journey. And finally, practice mindfulness. This is a mental state achieved by focusing one's awareness on the present moment, while calmly acknowledging and accepting one's feelings, thoughts and bodily sensations. It's a powerful tool that can help reduce stress and increase mental clarity. Remember, taking care of your mental health is not a luxury, it's a necessity. So make it a priority, because you are worth it. We've learned a lot today about mental health, but the journey doesn't end here. We've delved into the importance of mental health, busted common misconceptions, and shone a light on the silent battles many face. We've explored the stigmas that still surround mental health and the crucial role that advocacy plays in breaking down these barriers. We've also shared some ways you can take care of your mental health. But this is just the beginning. The world of mental health is vast and ever-evolving, and it's up to us to keep learning, keep growing, and keep the conversation going. Share this knowledge with others. Encourage them to join us on this journey. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest updates on mental health at Glee Glow Junction. We're dedicated to keeping you informed and empowered. Take care, and remember, together we can build a supportive and resilient community. Stay tuned for the next Glee Glow Junction.